Have you ever heard of Paris Syndrome? It might sound like a fancy perfume or a trendy fashion movement, but it's far from it. Paris Syndrome is a peculiar psychological phenomenon typically experienced by tourists visiting the French capital. Imagine experiencing a severe culture shock, so intense that it manifests physically with symptoms like dizziness, rapid heartbeat, and fainting. It's as if the reality of Paris clashes with the romanticized version they've held in their minds. Paris Syndrome is a psychological disorder most commonly experienced by tourists who are disappointed when the city does not meet their romanticized expectations. This unique syndrome was first identified in the 1980s by a Japanese psychiatrist working in France. Dr. Hiroaki Ota noticed a peculiar pattern among a group of Japanese tourists. They would visit Paris with high expectations of the city's romantic allure, only to be left feeling disillusioned and emotionally distressed. Dr. Oda concluded that this was due to a severe form of culture shock, a reaction to the stark difference between their expectations and reality. Thus, the term Paris Syndrome was coined, marking a unique entry into the world of psychological disorders. Paris Syndrome can be quite severe, with symptoms ranging from acute delusional states to hallucinations and feelings of persecution. The emotional toll can be profound as sufferers grapple with a reality that fails to meet their romanticized expectations of Paris. Risk factors include a deep fascination with the city, coupled with a lack of preparedness for the culture shock. Treatment options vary, but often involve therapy and sometimes medication to manage symptoms. While it may seem strange to some, Paris syndrome is a real and serious condition that can cause significant distress. Despite how unusual it may seem, Paris Syndrome is an intriguing part of our modern history. It's a psychological condition predominantly affecting Japanese tourists, so much so that the Japanese Embassy has a 24-hour hotline for sufferers. Interestingly, there are similar syndromes linked to other cities like Jerusalem and Florence. These fascinating phenomena remind us of the profound impact places can have on our psyche. Don't miss any of our history topics. Subscribe to our channel today for more intriguing stories to hear.